Hey guys, I want to share with you what is going to be in your nail kit this coming year so you can start getting ready for that. Um, we will have displayed, or by the time you see this video, you might have already seen the outline of what is in your kit. This is a direct clipping of the catalog. It says the item, how much it is, so that way you know what your money is going towards. These items were put out or will be put out again, depends on when this video comes out, but you will see the actual items. I'm making this video so that one, you can see the items, but two, when you get your supplies, you wanna make sure your kit, you wanna make sure that you go through, you know what everything is, you go through and make sure you've got everything in your kit. Anything that is not in your kit, we need to know so that we can go ahead and get those items for you so you'll be ready for class. All right, so let's get started. Our first item that we're going to have here is going to be your bag. Okay, so it's a little tote. It does have straps. You can change the length of the strap here. It does have an inside pocket with a zipper. It is clear, so you can see your supplies easily. Um, so the zipper, you do want to make sure to take care of the zipper. Um, it is not a very expensive expensive bag cost about five dollars but um you do want to make sure not to pull and yank and overstuff it so that it does not bust the zipper okay so that would be there your zipper bag the next thing that you have is going to be a seven piece travel set so you can take the, the purple paper out um, keep your bottles inside of this bag we'll fill it up with um, hand sanitizer, EPA, your cuticle remover, um, different things that you'll need for your nail products. So when you get to your senior year, you'll have this, these bottles that you can use for the manicure and different services there. So you do have that. You have a large storage case. And in here, you'll store various items like your nail art supplies, brushes, things of the sort. You have a stackable jar set here. And these little jars, you can open them up and put things inside like powders, glitters, gems, things of the sort. You do have these sections here that are removable um, and you can resize your sections however you see fit. But as far as for class, we're going to keep them in their original um, sections there. Okay, so that's your little art kit. Again, glitters, powders, you can fill them up with different things. All right, the next thing that you're going to have is an appointment book. I uh, used to be I used to print out the appointment sheet for you, but we're going to do it this for, different this time. So you have, you need to put your name here on the top, and you're going to have the date of the salon or the salon event. And typically we work from 3 to 8. Sometimes if we do Saturdays, 12 to 5, or if we do during school day from in the morning um, until about 2 or so. So this here you will need to carry with you in your backpack so that way whenever you do book an appointment you have this readily available for you, okay, to you. So that is your appointment book. All right, moving on to the next pile of items. We are going to start with this here. It is a nail tip display. It is smaller than what we had last year. Um, you do have two packs here of a, they are replacement nail tips so it's a little I call them the nail sticks so it's a stick with the nail tip um, and you just place them in the entrances here and it does stack them up so they're different lengths uh, as you go upwards and you have your little display of nails so when we do nail art competition things of the sort you will have this display um, and your two replaceable pieces here so that's that you have a palette. So with this palette, I would keep it in the bag until it's time to use because if you take it out, they're pretty flimsy sometimes and the nail will um, break off. So this here, I would definitely keep in the bag, but that, that nail wheel is when you are working with nail art and such. You have these two here. This is a nail art training frame set. So with this one, you are able, 
some on you and have not been like pushed out yet, but you are able to move and the first time just label them out. Second time, it's not so bad. Some of them, since they're new, they are a little stuck. If those are a little stuck, I don't want to. Okay, this one's easy. So you just insert and slide in and out and you can take them apart and you can put them all together. So these are really easy. You take your nail tip and you glue your nail tip there. Um, you can use glue, you can use acrylics, a lot of times you use sticky tack. And then you can work off of your palette in that manner. Um, so that is how we use, or what we use to display our nails. So you have 10 total, okay? So a count of 10 fingers. The next thing that we have as well are is a 10 pack of soak off, soak off clips. Take your cotton ball, take your ask, uh, um, trefoil, wrap it around, and then you insert this here and it allows for the gel or such to soak off. Okay, so they work great with gel, a little bit harder with acrylic because acrylic is a little bit more messy and it's harder to remove, but these are really great um, to keep those uh, cottons and foils on your fingers for the removal. You are gonna get two packs of nail tips. You're gonna get the white and you're gonna get the clear. Okay, so you're gonna get those two there. Okay, all right, moving along with our next little section. And I'm going off of the pages that were presented to you, okay? So they're in that particular order. First thing that you're going to have is your nail mat. This is your nail art stamping mat. We use, are going to be using this for a lot of things. Obviously the finger's a little bit, little bit bigger than natural finger, but we're gonna work with it. There's various different things that we're gonna use different techniques with this mat. It is a silicone mat, so it will pick up a lot of the lint. I would keep it in my bag as long as possible, and then you can just roll it up, making sure that the nice side is inside of the roll, so it doesn't the nice side does not pick up all the lint. So this here is your mat. Okay. You also are going to have a nail art ring. It is sizable here, so you squish it. Try not to do it so much that it eventually breaks off but you can put your palette there and as you are working with different polishes and colors and gels and uh, uh, 3D gel, uh, gel, you can always make sure the sculpting gel, you can always make sure to have something off to work off of. So that is your palette there. You have four two gram nail glues. We've talked about, or we will talk about how to maintain your glue um, nice and fresh. This does twist off. As it twists off, then it has an opening. There's nothing in the lid that's going to keep it sealed. So if you lay your glue down, it's going to spill out into your lid. Into your lid. So you want to make sure to keep your glue upright. Typically, we can glue a penny, and then it will just stand upright. So just that's something to keep in mind. Because if not, you'll go through a lot of these really fast. Okay. Another thing that you'll have is going to be your nail tip fan display so i would keep it in my bag until i'm ready to use it but you take your designs you swirl them around you tighten up the screw and it stays nice and tight um, so we'll be using this for different things as you go through the years of cosmetology it does have a little notch one you'll see fits into the other and definitely like i said try to keep it in your bag as long as you can until it comes time to use it um, it does get a little frustrating when you're trying to put it back in the bag or mess, uh, mess with it. Sometimes it does not uh, do it quickly, but keep it in the bag, it'll do you good. You will have a six ounce pump dispenser bottle. When you push down here, the liquid will go through the little uh, tube and it will come up. So that is your dispenser, typically for a remover. And then you have a 160 piece uh, cotton assortment. So this is where you'll put your Q-tips, your little um, squares, cotton rounds, things of the sort, cotton balls, okay, so that you can have something to work off of when you're working with your manicures and uh, nail services, okay. You're going to have a five-piece gel brush, I'm sorry, six-piece gel brush set. So this is your stand, has little divots for the brush to go in. You're going to have five of the brushes, Okay, three, and then you can put the two in the middle. And so these are for your gel uh, services. Okay, so that's what you have there. 
you're going to have a soft bristle manicure brush so you can wipe off and you can also use this to clean as well people use it for both different um, purposes this is going to be your 20 piece nail art tool set it's going to have your daughters and your nail art brushes very nicely put in a little container here and a little flip a uh, little wallet we've got going here okay so this is a really nice kit you do want to take the plastic out of your your supplies out of the plastic um, just making sure that the bristles stay nice neat and protected as you're going along using the tool okay next we have our brushes so let's start with our French uh, manicure brush okay so when you're doing the French you're going to take this and you're going to do round curvature movements which allow a nice clean um, curved French polish application so that's what this brush is for never cut the tip bristles okay never cut the tip bristles then you're going to have this fluffy brush this is not a makeup brush so do not take it for a makeup brush this particular brush is your ombre dip powder brush um, so when working with the dip powders that's what this is going to come in handy for a lot. Do not use this for makeup. That is not for a makeup brush. Okay. You have three. You actually have four, but it's in the next next piece. But you have three of the acrylic brushes. This is a flat, meaning flat edge. It's a stable brush. It's the kind of bristles that it has. Okay. This particular one, the size of it, it's seven inches long. Okay. But it's a number four, number four in the size here. And it is already pinched okay the next two brushes that we have this is a the smallest of course the smaller number this is the number five this one's missing the lip here the little container here it's a little like straw that helps protect the bristles um, after a while you don't really use these much anymore but um, at the beginning that's what they come with it does have a pointed tip here then it is a wooden handle as well as this black one here um, but this is a number five the large flat brush and then this particular one here this is a number eight uh, so these are your acrylic brushes you want to make sure that you use them only for acrylic only for acrylic okay the next brush that you have is a better quality brush okay this particular one here is a number 10 so this definitely is for one bead applications for your with your acrylics um, and bigger nail bigger surfaces, but this is a 10 inch and it is a round brush So we want to make sure that these brushes are used only 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 for acrylic okay? You're going to have three of these which actually looks like more Probably looks like maybe 10 or so I Apologize. I didn't count ahead of time, but these here are your carbon face masks Okay so these here, you're going to go through them very quickly, but then you can refill. You, they sell these at Walmart, the Dollar Store, Walgreens, places of the sort. But this is to protect your lungs, and we go through these a lot. But you do have your carbon face masks there. You're also going to have three glass stamping dishes, usually one for the white, one for the pink, and one for the liquid. Okay. So these here, um, you do want to be careful to make sure they don't break. But those are your damping dishes. You're going to have a rhinestone kit. Okay, This here has different colors, different sizes of the little rhinestones. They're not um, fancy. They're not high quality. They're just rhinestones so you can get the technique going. You are going to also have five fingers. And each one of these has the divot where you can insert the nail. So you're going to have five fingers. And with the five fingers, each one of these comes with a little set of nails. Okay. So there's three nails on each one. So these are just extra nail tips. Okay. So five fingers so that you can put and work with those five fingers when you're working with all types of nails, uh, nail techniques. You have here your nail art drawing board it's a nail mat we use this a lot for polishing and things of the sort so that is there for you as well the next thing that we have is going to be our double thick nail forms you have 500 per roll so you have 500 of these in your in your roll okay these are the most basic you can find 
but um, they're great for starters. Okay, so these here are the ones that you wrap around the finger to form the nail when you're working with acrylics. Okay. The two or three or such other nail tools that you're going to be um, having in your kit, we'll start with this here. This is a six piece manicure set. Okay, it comes in your little pouch. You have your pusher, okay, your curved manicure scissors. You have your metal file, which personally I don't like, so we never use that really for its original purpose. We have a hand nail clipper. The toenail clippers are bigger and wider. We don't have one of those in here. We have our cuticle nippers, and then we have some tweezers, which we don't use this for the face, but uh, we use them for other, other things. Another thing that we have here is a six inch curette nail cleaner. So these you go onto the side of the feet, the toes, to get all the gunk and the, all the toe jam out of there. So that is what that is. And I usually like to just put it in my toolkit. Next thing that I have here is a seven and a quarter inch cuticle pusher. So the cuticle pusher on this side. Okay, and we have a, you can get really good into the cuticles with the point of this end here. You do have a protector band here to make sure to protect the point in case you drop it, you don't dull your product, your tool. And then you have a C-curve tool. So this one, when you're doing acrylic, you can pinch the tool, pinch the nail and it'll help uh, shape the nail really nice. So that is what this tool is for. And then the next thing that we have here is a gel polish remover tool. So with our gel polish remover tool, it has a nice little grip here because it's bit slippery. And so it's just so you can pull and remove off that gel whenever you're doing removal. So these here, I just like to keep them in my, I know it sticks out, but I like to keep them in my pouch. The next tool that you have is going to be a nail tip slicer. Okay, the blade always goes toward you and the guard goes towards the client so you don't cut their finger. You can imagine when that blade is up to their finger here, you can chop their finger off. So um, the blade goes towards you. So then the little catcher, is what I like to call it, um, this here is where it's going to catch that nail tip instead of flying off and hitting somebody in the eye or something. Um, it gets dispensed into this little container here. You can just pull off, empty and clean it out. Okay. So that is what this, this is a tip slicer, okay? So it also comes with, or your kit also comes with replacement blades. It's a five pack. So that I also like about that there. You, when it doles up, you can definitely replace your nail tips. All right, the next few things that we have and the last few things that we have that come in your kit is going to be your multi-purpose droppers. Okay, your pipettes. So this is definitely, you have some measurements here. So these are great for whenever you're working with your monomer, your liquids, okay? Um, to put from, let's say you have a really big container and you're gonna put it out into your damping dish. Instead of pouring it out and spilling, you squeeze it out, fill up this tip of the pipette, drop it off, and you have your product in here, okay? So you're gonna get five of those. Here you have your three pack needle art, nail art needle pens. Okay, so really gotta be careful because it literally is a needle. Okay, it's really nice and pointy. You get some really nice, clean, very specific designs with those. You also are gonna get your three piece silicone set uh, here, your tool set. So this is for, um, it's double ended. Okay, so it's good for creating nail art of various kinds. It's good for applying hard gels, uh, like your sculpting type of 3D gel art, okay, instead of using a brush and such. And then it's also good to clean up around the nails. It's also good to pick up diamonds and gems and stones since it is silicone, okay? So you've got your six, six different types here, six different designs. So these are really great. You also get a four pack of nail art striping tape, okay? gold, black, silver, and white. So you have those there to play with. And the last thing that you get in your nail kit is going to be a hair weft. Now this is always weird to students. It's, it goes, it's an attachment to a mannequin. It's a piece of skin, fake skin, obviously it's plastic. It's a piece of skin. 
and what we do we do a lot of um, hair as well so you have this weft and you use t-pins and you put it on you put it on a mannequin head and then you have this long hair to work with so when we're learning uh, curling iron flat ironing braiding different things of the sort a lot of times we are a short class period so we don't have all the time in the world to do a whole head so we'll just do our hair weft um, and so that's what this is this also will carry on into your junior and senior year mainly your junior year but then you also get your mannequins by that time and so that is what comes in your kit okay so please make sure, as always, put your name on all of your supplies. We want to make sure that you get all of your things back in case you leave something behind. Make sure to etch with an engraver. Etch onto your metal implements, um, your plastic. Make sure to etch it on there as well. You can do tape, but somebody can take the tape off. You can do permanent marker. But that easily comes off with acetone as well. So if you etch it on to your tools, you'll always know what which one is yours if you're sharing in groups or whatnot, or you let someone borrow, or you left it behind. So you want to definitely make sure to take care of all of your supplies. Okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this kit. There's a lot of great things that we're going to be working on and doing with this. So make sure to keep everything nice, tidy, and organized. And, and I hope you enjoy.